Good morning, St. Mary's. On this next to the last day of school, I'm standing here outside the doors, wishing that you could come through them a couple more times this week. But knowing that you are well, knowing you are at home, and knowing that summer is almost here, we gather together this day and we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Barnabas, who was a companion of St. Paul the Apostle, who joined Paul on his first missionary journey. So listen to the words of this Gospel today. Jesus said to the Twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. Cure the sick raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, draw, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for your journey or a second tunic, or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. And so as we remember Barnabas the Apostle today, we know that what Jesus told his apostles, he tells us as well to go out into the world, to be good, and to proclaim the kingdom. So with summer almost here, let us be ready, wherever we are, each and every day of the summer vacation, to be God's people and the Lord's disciples in the world. And so we lift up our prayers this day. And we pray first for all of you, the students at St. Mary's, along with your siblings and your parents, all who show you love in your family, that God will bless you at the end of this year. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the teachers and the staff and the administration here at St. Mary's School who have been working with you each and every day throughout the year, that God may bless them for their dedication to you. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world and in our country, that all of us may know that we are called to be witnesses to God's love for all people. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the students that we support in Haiti, in the time of their hunger, as they too look forward to summer vacation. We pray to the Lord. And now let us gather together all of our prayers as we pray that prayer that Jesus first taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And as people of St. Mary's, let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, as we remember your Apostle Barnabas, help us, too, to go into the world, to be witnesses to your love, and to spread the good news that Jesus has asked us to. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let us together recite our school mission statement. St. Mary's School is anchored in Catholic faith, values, and proven academic excellence. We inspire our students to be lifelong learners and servant leaders in our local and global community. And 
now let us offer our pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great Thursday, everybody, as we all look forward to the last official day of school tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and have a good day.